had this conversation with his friend and Arnold said to him, I'm gonna get out of this cow-calf operation. And my dad said, why would you do that? And he said, because it's just too much work to put up the hay. And my dad was always thinking there should be a better way. I remember right around early 70s, 71, coming back from college and sitting at the kitchen table and hearing him talk about how they were working on a new product and it would roll a big round bale of hay and be able to stay out in the field and shed water and it could be a one person system. He had the ability to see a product and he could see, oh yeah, there's a potential for that. But the baler was different. The baler was something that he came up with the idea and that he then pursued it. You know, there's something about if you do something yourself and start from scratch, it's one thing, as opposed to taking someone else's idea and trying to make it marketable. As soon as possible, they took the, the baler on demonstrations and they would get hundreds of people following them to see these demonstrations because they had advertised in several of the local papers that this was going on. There were several people that would come back a second day to see if it was still working, and uh, fortunately it was. And we had a tremendous demand for the products. When I came to the company in 74, things were just booming. And uh, you know, 75% of our sales in those early years was from forage. When you talk to the salespeople that were in the field, they had tremendous pride in this product. And people in the factory on the line felt very good about being able to contribute to the baler and the fact that it was an invention of Gary Vermeer. But also, I especially enjoyed visiting the farm dealers, the ones who were selling our product. Because in many cases, they were not only selling balers, quite often they were farmers or ranchers. I actually read a quote from my grandpa where he talked about he didn't just want to have a better version of somebody's product, he wanted to come out with something that was brand new. And I think that's something that drives us too is what is out there that can be solved that we don't have a product for? Or how do we help that farmer be more productive? Or how do we help that person who doesn't have as much labor as they used to still get the job done? And so we've got a, a group of people who's focused every day on thinking about those products that don't exist but also taking the products we currently have and making them better. Anyone who has been part of the history of the Vermeer Round Baler over the last 50 years can be very proud of the impact that they made on the world. And it might have started with an idea in my grandfather's head, but he immediately was working with other people to bring that idea into reality. For decades, Vermeer has relied upon really smart, creative people, many of whom have backgrounds in agriculture, that have come to Vermeer and seen what we already have and listened to our customers' problems and make improvements. I still feel very confident that we're the innovator. Vermeer and our dealers can be 100% focused on this piece of agriculture that we innovated, we invented 50 years ago, and where we continue to be the innovator. And I expect that to be the case long into the future.